Interesting facts about famous people. Bruce Dern, the man who killed John Wayne. Bruce McLeish Dern entered this world on June 4, 1936. On, a talented actor, often played supporting villainous characters of unstable nature, receiving several accolades, including the Cannes Film Festival Award for Best Actor and the Silver Bear for Best Actor, nominated for the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor for Coming Home, 1978, and the Academy Award for Best Actor for Nebraska, 2013. He is also a BAFTA Award, two-time Genie Award, and three-time Golden Globe Award nominee. Here are some interesting facts about Bruce Dern. A member of the Actors Studio, rising to prominence during the New Hollywood era, with roles in films such as They Shoot Horses, Don't They, 1969, the Incredible Two-Headed Transplant, 1971. Get the guns. Heard the Cowboys. No way Silent Running. Something. Take care of yourself, do it. And The King of Marvin Gardens, all 1972. Other films of note include The Great Gatsby, 1974. Posse, 1975. Family Plot, 1976. Black Sunday, 1977. One month after my release. The Driver, 1978. Tattoo, 1981. Their championship season, 1982. Monster, 2003. The Hateful Eight, 2015. The Artist's Wife, 2019. And Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, 2019. He played Frank Harlow in the HBO series Big Love, 2006 to 2011. Father of actress Laura Dern with his ex-wife, actress Diane Ladd. Dern studied at the Actors Studio alongside Elia Kazan and Lee Strasberg. He starred with Lyle Kessler in the Philadelphia premiere of Samuel Beckett's Waiting for Goddard. Bruce starred with Paul Newman and Geraldine Page in the original Broadway run of Tennessee Williams' Sweet Bird of Youth. He began working in film and television in the 60s, after his film debut, Wild River, playing the sailor in a few flashbacks in Marnie and a murdered lover in Hush, Hush, Sweet Caroline. Played a murderous rustler in Hang Em High, a gunfighter in Support Your Local Sheriff, in the film adaptation of Horace McCoy's novel, They Shoot Horses, Don't They? In the Western film, The Cowboys, Dern played a cattle thief who kills a rancher, John Wayne. While filming, Wayne warned Dern, America will hate you for this. And Dern replied, yeah, but they'll love me in Berkeley. Dern had a leading role in the science fiction film Silent Running and co-starred with Jack Nicholson in The King of Marvin Gardens. Dern played Tom Buchanan in the film adaptation for F. Scott Fitzgerald's novel, The Great Gatsby, 1974. In Kirk Douglas's revisionist Western film, Posse, Dern played a train robber who turned the tables on his captor. An ambitious, politically minded US Marshal, Douglas, Dern starred in the beauty pageant satire film, Smile, and in Alfred Hitchcock's final film, Family Plot. Dern played the detective on the trail of a getaway driver, Ryan O'Neill, in the neo-noir film, The Driver. In John Frankenheimer's thriller film, Black Sunday, Dern played a vengeful Vietnam War veteran and could a blimp pilot who launches a massive terrorist attack at the Super Bowl. Dern played another Vietnam veteran and the disturbed husband of a perplexed woman, Jane Fonda, in Hal Ashby's war film Coming Home and was nominated for an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor. In Bob Brooks' erotic thriller Tattoo, 
Dern played an increasingly deranged tattoo artist who imprisons a fashion model, Maud Adams. The film was dodged by controversy throughout its post-production and pre-production phase. The film's release was delayed by nearly a year, and for his lead performance Dern earned a Worst Actor Razzie nomination. However, he bounced back by winning a Silver Bear for Best Actor at the 33rd Berlin International Film Festival for his performance in Jane Miller's That Championship Season, 1982. Over the next few decades, Dern played a Vietnam veteran and neighbourhood survivalist in Joe Dante's suburban satire, The Burbs, a local crime boss in Michael Ritchie's Diggs Town, a rival of Wild Bill Hickox in Walter Hill's Wild Bill, and George Spahn in Quentin Tarantino's Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Dern's autobiography, Things I've Said But Probably Shouldn't Have, an unprecedented memoir, was published in 2007. In Alexander Payne's film, Nebraska, Dern plays an elderly resident who believes he has won a million dollars and undertakes a road trip from Billings, Montana to Lincoln, Nebraska, to claim the prize. He won the Best Actor Award at the 2013 Cannes Film Festival and was nominated for the Academy Award for Best Actor. In the course of his long and prolific career, Dern collaborated with film directors, including Walter Hill, The Driver, Wild Bill, and Last Man Standing, Joe Dante, The Burbs, Small Soldiers, and The Hole, and Quentin Tarantino, Django Unchained, The Hateful Eight, and Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. In an interview for the AV Club, Dern said, I always say that I feel like I've worked for six geniuses in my career, and the six directors, not in any order, would be Mr. Kazan, Mr. Hitchcock, Douglas Turnbull, Alexander Payne, Quentin Tarantino, and Francis Coppola. In an interview with Josh Olson and Joe Dante for the podcast series, The Movies That Made Me, and while discussing his career, Dern cited the films of David Lean, specifically Lawrence of Arabia, Great Expectations, and the bridge on the River Kwai as among the films that inspired him. When asked if he had ever contemplated retirement, Dern stated, if you think I'm gonna retire so Jimmy fucking Khan can get another part from me, you're dead wrong, because I'm gonna go until I'm 100. My goal is to do stuff with older characters that people have never got the chance to do, because they never live long enough, and because I don't have anything else to do. Since now that Khan has moved on, it may be time to hang up his acting hat. Thank you for your time today. I hope you liked the video. Please drop me your comments. I appreciate likes, shares and subscribers. It helps me a lot. Bye for now.